Hello my dear family members, as the news is propagating, Capgemini is going to start a new hiring journey very soon. So today we will discuss a coding question which was asked recently and the same coding question was asked many time in the interview as well. So let's see what the question is. So the question is regarding, you have to write a function that accepts a string which length is length. The string has some hashes in it. You have to move all the hashes to the front of the string and return the whole string back and print it. So here's the sample test cases. Like if the input is containing this string move has 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 to has front. So the output should be all the hashes at the front then the full uh, strings without having any uh, hashes right so this should be your output let's say you have a string like uh, a b c and then hashes or any special characters d e f then again has then g h i then again a has so your output should be there are two uh, three hashes like so you have to write the i, I mean you have to or get all the hashes at the front then you have to print the remaining in the same order as they are present right so you have to maintain the order ghi so i hope you understood what the task is right so if you understood then please start solving the problem and give the answer in the comment section and you can give your code in java and python as well so i will now solve the problem in java so before I proceed to the answer, I would recommend you to have the Capgemini Prime materials in which you will have all the recent coding questions as well as previous year questions and the mock test as well. So to get that, knock me at my Insta ID, instagram.com slash techno.tvf, I will provide you. Okay, so let's see the solution. So there can be a many solution way. So I will solve uh, like uh, the way is I will take two string, a blank string in the first string I will take all the hashes and in the second string I will get all the non uh, hashes characters right so I will run a for loop then I will concatenate all the hashes inside a string and I will concatenate all the non hashes substrings non hashes uh, characters like then at the end I will concatenate those uh, string in which I concatenated right so let's see uh, the solution so i had to create a function right so let's create a static function so that we don't have to create the object of it so public static uh, it will return a string right so string and let's say the name is move to front and i have to take the argument string type let's say word right okay so what our task is at first i will go through all the uh, characters of that string right so for that i'll write the for loop so for int i is equal to zero i less than the length of that word right so as i have to go uh, go through all the letters of that string right so word dot length and then I'll increment by one now what is my task that is at first i will check if the current character is a string sorry uh, is a hash or a non hash character so after checking that i will concatenate that right so i'll check if current character how would we get that that is by using char at function right so inside a string i have a function char at using that i can get the current index character right so uh, as of now let's say my string is uh, move has to front right okay so if my first input is this so at first in this uh, in, in this block m will be fetched right so what dot caret i is equal to is equal to has then what i'll do i'll concatenate that has into a separate variable right so for that i have to initialize that variable let's say string has is equal to blank okay blank string so that i can concatenate new hashes inside it right so hash plus is equal to hashes okay okay so if this is not an hash then what i would do i'll concatenate that non-hash character inside 
another variable another variable let's say string remaining okay remaining is equal to blank sub blank string okay so inside remaining variable i'll concatenate the uh, non hash character that is word dot char at i right so i hope you understood right so at the end of the for loop what i'll do just return the uh, concatenated version of that string like uh, at first i'll write hash plus remaining so in this way i can concatenate all the hashes plus all the remaining so so that all the hashes will be at the first and all the non hashes character will be at the end right so in this way we can achieve our goal only within uh big o of n time complexity because the word uh, length of the word will be big o of n right so that's why i will get uh, the time complexity big o of n okay so now just call the function then i hope this will be okay so i am not getting uh, the input from the user i will just write hard code it okay so let's print it so print uh so the string is let's say at first move has to front okay so output should be sorry i have to call the function at first so move to front right so move to front and this move to front function will return an string and this will be printed right okay let's run it and see if this giving right output or not okay so the output should be okay as expected all the hashes are present at the first and all the non hash characters are present at the end right okay let's take the second in input that is abc has def has okay so let me change it okay so i hope this will also be okay all the hashes should be present at the front and all the non hash character are present at the end right so this is fine right so if uh, you, you you might have questions like why i am concatenating a character inside a string because characters can be concatenated with the strings like uh, right so i hope you understood whatever i have used whatever syntax i used whatever logic i used in this code so if you want the python code as well please let me know and if you didn't understand then also let me know in the comment section i will try to make you understand right so i hope this video session was helpful to you if you found this video helpful then please subscribe to this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and if you want the prime materials then let me know in the comment section or you can knock me at my insta id instagram.com i'll provide you right so thank you for today's session